Well, I like to make paintings to give people pleasure. Uh, I think that's the role of the kind of pictures that I do. And because I travel a lot, often the pictures are, you know, about various places in the world, but most of them over my career have always been about Australia. When I was offered the opportunity to go to the Antarctic, I mean, it's the one continent that I'd never been to. I knew that the Antarctic is going to be a lot about ice and a lot about snow and maybe a penguin or two, but the expectation of going there was absolutely fantastic. So one of the first pictures that I painted was about the icebergs and about the colour that you see in the water, and I made part of it pink. I mean, that's the difference between art and photography. So a picture like this, which is called Ice Cliff, I guess symbolises the, the, the majesty and the kind of almost slightly overwhelming feeling about the landscape in the Antarctic. You have these amazing mountains, you have these huge pieces of ice cliff, great big bits that have broken off, and here we are in our little expedition zodiacs being absolutely dwarfed by the landscape itself. So this is where most of the colour was. The colour were all the clothing and the things that we as the tourists were wearing. And sometimes I wanted to make each little piece of coloured paint as interesting as I possibly could make it. So it became the kind of absolute abstract qualities of the people and the little dots. For me, I spend a lot of time just looking at the ice itself. I, a picture like this is just the feeling of what you can kind of lose yourself into when you just sit there looking at the ice. It's more than just a lump of ice. There are all kinds of things that you can find within it. If you're a scientist and you are going to spend a, a long, cold winter in the Antarctic, you'd be dreaming about women and Christmas puddings. Who could ask for more? I'm very pleased that people have responded very well to the paintings, both in buying them and people's uh, critical appraisal of them. As far as from this exhibition is concerned, half the profits will go to the McGrath Foundation for Breast Cancer and half to Mawson's Huts. Would I go there again? Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs>